Hello, hello, hello. Who's there? Joan's there. Hi, Joan. How you doing? Mary's there. It's SpongeBob's birthday today. <laughs> There's Rose. Hi, Rose. How are you? <laughs> Is it really SpongeBob's birthday today? <laughs> Under the sea? <laughs> I think those are baby sharks. Could be SpongeBob's birthday, too. It could share a birthday. We don't know. <laughs> well, I was I was kind of a little um, scrounging for a backdrop for today. And then, just a few moments ago, I went to look for something else, and I was like, oh, I already have a backdrop for Monday all lined up now, because I just didn't know where I placed it there. But uh, let me get hooked up here, see what's going on. This is my backdrop tonight. It's a happy birthday backdrop. I thought we'll incorporate something fun with that here. Let me get it signed in here. Mm-hmm. Good job. Okay, okay, let's see, we want to connect to our current live stream. I want to pull up my Facebook page here. What are you all up to today? Anything fun? Go lie down. Anything fun? I had a really hard time getting started today, a really hard time getting started today. As a matter of fact, I spent a good portion of, di of the day lying in bed, finally finished the movie that I watched four or five times now, falling asleep each time I've watched it. It was called How Do You Know is what it was called. It was a rom-com with Reese Witherspoon and Owen Wilson and Paul Rudd. And then when it came to it, and I'm not really big into rom-coms so much, but you know, I watched it, but, uh, and then when it came to the end, it was just like over all of a sudden it was just over. And I'm thinking, wait a minute, did I fall asleep again? Did I miss something? It's like, oh, that's it. That was it. That's what I watched this six times for. Oh, Mary, it is crazy, crazy hot here today. I mean, seriously, just walk, I'm walking out onto the front porch, move around a few things in there. And I come back in and there is sweat dripping off of my face. It is incredibly crazy hot. Did it actually get up to 102? Hey Pam, how are you? How, how hot is it in Florida right now, Pam? It's, bar it's crazy hot here. It really is. Let me get hooked up here and turn my music down a little bit so we can get started here. Okay, turn my music down to... Uh, let's try 33. Let's see. Well, 39. We'll try that one here. Find my live feed. Where is that at? Right about... It'll come. It'll come. <laughs> How hot is it in Florida, Pam? I'm glad you're good. <laughs> In the shade, I went out to your pool today. Yeah, I know, it's just ridiculous. Go lie down, please. Go, thank you. Oh my gosh, I have to say, he didn't get nearly as much attention. It was only 92, 99 on Tuesday. It was really hot here today. It was crazy, it was crazy hot. Go ahead, take him in the other room there. Okay, let me pull this up here. We're gonna get started here. Um, Rose, I already put the thing aside for you so that I'm not even going to put that on the show here I'm just gonna I'll just uh, add it on for you later let me see what we're doing here why do I look frozen okay share so what kind of music are we listening to electro swing radio it's called it's called electro swing radio I just want to hear the lyrics to this one. The dancing girl that started getting fat every day, she'd add two more pounds. It's got a good beat. <laughs> I feel like I can relate. <laughs> oh my, it's funny. Okay, there we go. So we're going to get started here. 
Uh, we're gonna do a, uh, we're gonna, show, I'm gonna have a whole bunch of things to show you here. And then at the end of this show here, we're gonna do a $3 sale, a $3 sale at the end of this show here. And I wore my pink glasses today to match this pink dress, which I haven't worn before, and I'm not sure if I like it or not, but uh, it is what it is. But, so check this out. So I decided to sh show you a few things here. I don't know where to start. I got six things to tell you, 30 things to tell you. Where to start here? <laughs> I am going to turn this down just a tad bit here. There we go. Okay, there we go. Um, so first of all, I guess I'm going to start by telling you go share the show. Go share the show. And I put everybody's names in here from those that shared Wednesday's show. I know it looks a little dark from this area, but I'm not missing any lighting. I'm not sure why. I put everybody's names in here for those that shared on Wednesday, and I'm going to pull that in just a few minutes here. So go share the show now, and then you'll be entered on my Monday show. Monday show, we are live at 11 a.m., and uh, we'll have a new winner at that point. So the other thing I want to mention to you is when we go through, I'm going to assign numbers to each of the items that I'm going to say. If it, has a, if it happens to have a star attached to that number, you're going to get a bonus prize, okay? So we're going to put a couple more stars on these papers here. Go here. Now I want to show you a couple pieces of jewelry that I have on here. Oh, first of all, let me tell you about this. Okay, so this backdrop here is Baby Shark. It is a happy birthday backdrop. I'm going to say it's about three feet tall, okay? And about, let's say about 50 inches side to side here. This is a not a washable backdrop, but it's a very vibrant, full color backdrop here. Just says happy birthday on it. It sells for $9.99. I have it tonight for $5 if you like this backdrop. This one is going to be item number 179, and it's going to be $5. Thank you, dear. Thank you, Rose. Appreciate it. This one's going to be $5, so you just say sold, $179, if that's something that you're interested in, okay? And that's how the rest of the show works as well. When you come on, say hello to me. Let me know you're on there. You don't have to be so quiet in the background. Say, hi, Valerie, how are you? Let me show you a few pieces I have here. I want to show you a few jewelry pieces here. So first of all, I want to show you this necklace that I'm wearing here, okay? Now I'm going to show you what, this, what I like about this necklace here. This necklace is a vintage necklace. It is marked Berge, B-E-R-G-E. -G -E. I almost I almost want to say the G is in a soft G. Say B-E-R-G-E. -E. <laughs> like G-E appliances. <laughs> it's a gorgeous necklace. It's a heavy necklace. Berge made jewelry between 19, what, between 1940 and 1979. And what I like about this piece, particularly, is that it, it is not overly feminine, okay? I like feminine jewelry, but this is not overly feminine. It's a very tailored piece of jewelry, and it has a nice weight to it, too, okay? And it almost looks like little, like little BBs on the chain here. Really pretty, so I could really see something, somebody, somebody more like a maybe a Martin Dietrich or a Catherine Hepburn, a more tailored look like that. Not so, not something you look at and you say, "Oh, isn't that you know a pretty piece of jewelry?" But one that you look at and you say, "Isn't that a smart piece of jewelry?" I really like the way that looks. And this is the clasp on it. And as I said, it is um, marked on the clasp with its brand name here. I can't see it very well but it's there, okay? And so this one right here is, and I showed you how, how far it hung, okay? It's kind of like a choker. It hangs right around the base of your neck here. Really pretty. And um, this one here is going to be $12, $12. So we know it's at least as old as 1979 but it's made somewhere between 1940 and 1979. This one's gonna be $12, and it's gonna be number 180, 180. So if you like that, you just say sold, 180, and I mark it for you, and I put it in your, comes to your house. And then I have three pairs of earrings I wanna show you, all vintage earrings, all cool, cool little earrings. These two here have never been off their backing, okay? So these are vintage earrings here. Look at them. They're like they're, they're like acrylic with the gold on the top here. 
it says etc up at the top there, which I'm not positive, but this could mean, do you, I don't know if you recall, there used to be stores called etc in the mall there. So I'm not guaranteeing that that's where this came from, but that's what they are. These ones are going to be $4. This is going to be number 181. These are pierced earrings here. And these ones here, also super cute. These are wood and they're hand painted. And these actually have a tag from a store called Stone and Thomas. A paper tag on the back from a store called Stone and Thomas, which looks like a pretty vintage uh, tag to me there. It looks like a store that we used to have called, um, the, the writing of it looks like a store we used to have called Stephen Richards. But this is called Stone and Thomas. So they're nice, thick wood earrings. Vintage earrings, fish hook style here. These ones are going to be number 182. And these ones are going to be $4 there. Uh, yeah. Oh, I know. I saw you were saying it was going to be 99 on, or it, it was 99 on Tuesday? It was 99 this past Tuesday? I know. It's crazy here, though. Um, yes, it is. It is. And then the, I have these ones to show you here, too. These ones I decided to put on because I thought they kind of complemented this dress here. Okay. These are also wood, but they kind of have a yarn. Um, I'm not going to take it off. I'll leave it on so you can see. It kind of has like a yarn and a ribbon around the wood there. Flat base wood here. Pierced earrings. Okay. Kind of large and large and fun there. And those ones also are going to be $4. And those ones are going to be number 183. And it just so happens that 183 also has a star. So if you decide to take that, then you get a bonus prize tonight because it has a little star on it there. So let's get into the show here. I just had a short drink tonight. It's not whiskey. <laughs> Would be a pretty whiskey glass, and it is a vintage glass, too. Look at that pretty glass. Unfortunately, it's just a one-off. It's the only glass I have of this. Just water and berries for me tonight. You like it? You say, sold? Tell me what the number is, and I'm going to show you what I got here. So, got a few different things. I'm going to put these earrings out of the way here so we don't get them tangled. First item is this. First item is really pretty. This is a glass, uh, a glass, ah, let me get it out of the package. A glass, a glass, a glass. It's a very pretty glass bulb here. And the bulb is for you to put water in and to put into your plant. It is a plant spike, a glass plant spike here. Very pretty. It's about that big here, which I think is about, what, let's say about 15 inches tall here. And it's, so that's how you water your plant. You just stick that, fill it with water, put it into your plant, and keep it safe. Keep it safe and hydrated there. So this is going to be $5. It sells for $8.99. I have it for $5. And this is going to be item number 184. So if you like this, you just say sold 184, and it becomes yours. Next item over here, this is a vintage item, very pretty item. This is a vintage ceramic vase here, hand-painted vintage ceramic vase. It is in very good condition. I'm going to say that it does have a, looks like it has a minor, I'll tell you what, it looks like it has a minor chip, but it's not, a, um, I feel like it was made in the, while it was being made because it's very, very shiny and smooth. It's not, do you know what I mean to say? Almost like when they were painting it, that's how it was put together then. So it's a very pretty vase. It's about this tall. Okay. Vintage ceramic vase. It's going to be $6. This one's going to be $6 and it's item number 185. Number 185. Then what do we have over here? These are so cute here. These are for, these are, this is a brand called Happy Pop. And Happy Pop makes comical socks. And these little socks here, aren't they adorable? All these little kittens with glasses on here. Kittens with the glasses on, ladies socks, Happy Pop socks, sell normally for $9.99. I have them for $5. This is gonna be item number 186. If you like those, you just say sold, 186. They come to live at your house. My dog is going to drive me crazy if he's there. Okay, so I don't know if you do, how do you go to sleep? When you go to sleep, do you wrap your hair? How do you put, you know, 
I'll tell you, I often will take my hair and I put it all up on top of my head like that. And I go to sleep and I wrap it in a, um, you know, a, a little scrunchie like this. But I have to say, the tops of my hairs get to be very short. Look how short this piece of hair is right here. That's the end of it, okay? And I think it's because the scrunchie breaks it down a lot of times when I'm rolling around on my pillow there. <laughs> when I'm not having as sound a night's sleep as I wish I was having. But here is a little um, sleeping cap here, okay? And it's a pretty little sleeping cap here. Look at that. It's gray. It's kind of a gray, silvery look to it here. It's a nice large size, too, so if you have a lot of hair and you like to put it up on your head, slip that on over there, but you can wear it out in public, too. You can wear it to the swimming pool, if you like. You can wear it just out and around, out and about. It's going to be $4 for this. It's going to be number 187. Number 187. Little gray, gray sleeping cap. 187. Now, these are already, I know I'm getting early here, but I'm already into a little bit of Halloween here. And these are just too adorable. And I have to show you them. I have two boxes of these available. These are those old school little wind-up toys that hop around on the tables there. I can't do it while it's still in its package there. But they're all different little Halloween styles here. Very, very cute. I like, I'll show you which one I like. Here. I like this guy. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> Isn't that hilarious? I love it. So you get inside of a box. You get 12 pieces in a box. 12 pieces in a box. And let's see. Where is their price tag on here? I think they sell for... Where's the price tag on here? Oh, there it is. They sell for $11.99 a box. And I have them for $8 a box. So you're getting the whole box filled with 12 pieces on there for $8. So we have the, one box is going to be number 188. And another one is going to be 189. Hi, Jan Frost. How are you? And there's our other Pam. Good evening, other Pam. How are you? I hate referring to you like that. <laughs> I'm going to say you're from Michigan, right, Pam? I'm going to call you Pam from Michigan then. Because I don't like saying other Pam or second Pam. <laughs> uh, I'm going to say Pam from Michigan. But these are so cute, and they're perfect. Not only are they perfect to give away to little kids, that, like the ones you know from the neighborhood, you know, but, um, you know, grandchildren, whatever. Here's another pair of teeth, hopping teeth. So cute. It's one of those simple toys that always makes you smile. Put it on a co-worker's desk. They'll crack up. Anyways, it's number 188 and number 189. Just two boxes of those available. And here's the other autumn item I have here that I wanted to show you. This is if you are a crafter. This bag sells for $7.99. I have this bag for $5. This is going to be item number 190. This is a huge bag of all different autumn leaves. They're the foam leaves that you tear off the white backing. And then they're self-stick. They would actually be perfect for bulletin boards or, you know, decorating. Ooh, I thought it opened up on me. <laughs> decorating something like that. But they're the little foamy kind, and they already have the stickiness on the back. So you get this whole big bag here for just $5. And as I said, it sells normally for $7.99. And this is item number $190. So if you like that, say $190. What is this? This says, oh, that's our plant bulb thing. Tells you how to work the plant bulb thing. Okay, next little item we have here. Next little item. Oh, we have some more of these Pokemon stickers. These Pokemon stickers are so much fun. And I'll tell you what, the kids love these. If you work with kids, handing just one of them out as a reward. You know, here, take this one, take that one. And they swap them back and forth. They love these. And these are perfect for stocking stuffers, too. If you know anybody that is a Pokemon fan, you're getting 80 stickers in here. And they're big stickers. See the size of my hand? They're nice big stickers here, three-inch stickers. We're going to do 191 and 192 Pokemon stickers. And these are six bucks a pack. You're getting, a, you're getting 80 stickers for six bucks a pack. Yes, Michigan. I'm going to call you Pam Michigan. Um, no, dear. I just have the one that you see. I just have the one that you see, Jan. Okay, but that doesn't mean I won't have a new one at some point in the future. <laughs> Everything's always, you know, whatever happens to come up, comes up. Okay, 
So let's see what's new over here. This next little item, if this could also be kind of going into the fall, fallish. I like these. These are, this is acacia wood. Okay. It's tree. It's tree. And they made these trees into these little wedges here. And then they cut out a little space for you to put a little tea light candle. So you get a set of three of these little wood pieces here from the tree. And they all have the bark on the outside and everything. So it's very cool and rustic looking. Very nice like that. It sells for a set of three, sell for $9.95. I have the set of three for $6. And this is going to be item number 193. And additionally, this has a little star on it. So if you get 193, let me know because you're going to be the winner winner. Do we have anybody as a winner winner for the last thing I showed with a star? I'm not sure if we did. There's Miss Valerie. Hello. Supper with your sister tonight. Well, that sounds nice. Only 23 weeks before Christmas. Well, that sounds real nice, Valerie. Well, enjoy that. We'll miss you here tonight. We'll miss you. Go lie down. Go lie down. What, what do you, tell us what you tell, you'll have to let us know how your uh, dinner was there. That sounds like really, a really nice evening. Next I have here, this is an awesome little find here too. This is a vintage green glass Victorian shoe. Vintage green glass Victorian shoe. It is really cool. It's about this big. It's in excellent condition. The only thing, well, I shouldn't say excellent condition. I did find that right around the rim, there's a tiny little flea bite right around the rim. You really can't even see it. It's, but I can, I can slightly feel it right there. Okay. But you really can't even see it there. But other than that, a fantastic condition. And if you look these up online, these are usually going for 25, 30, $35 here. This one is $10, just $10. Very, very cute little item here. Vintage item. This one is going to be, where did all my stickies go? Where did all my stickies go? Too early for me to lose things already. <laughs> this one is going to be item number 194. 194. Very sweet little piece. This is how big it is. I, said, I had some other glass slippers on recently. Uh, didn't I? But it doesn't seem like that long ago that I had them on. Uh, they, I think they were clear glass, though. Okay, this next item. This is a new set. These are hair rollers here. And these you are getting a, 30, a set of 30 hair rollers. These sell for $16.98. I have them for $8. And what you are getting is you are getting 30 of them, and they come like this with the three different size rollers. You don't need clips to put them on because it has like kind of a, a hook and loop that kind of makes them stick in your hair. So you get the large, you get the middle size, and then you get the smaller size on that here. And you're getting a set of 30 of them here for $8. That's going to be item number 195, 30, $8. 195 for those. They just, you just roll and they just stay in your hair the way that they are. Okay, over here I have two of these here. And I'm going to read you what the description on these say. This is, for, this is a foot. It's funny because let me tell you this. Okay, so this is what the package looks like, okay? But these particular balls that are included with this item that has nothing to do with laundry are the same balls that are that I use in my dryer when I dry clothes, moving along to, to you know, in the dryer there. This is a foot item here, okay? Let's see if I can get it out. Let's see if I can get it out. Keep the ball part in there. So it's a Velcro foot item here. Oh my gosh, they really have it strung up here. And then you have the blue pad here for your foot. And what this is for, as it's listed here on the package, it is for uh, plantar bacillus night splint foot support, effective relief for arthritis, tendonitis, heel pain, arch and foot pain, adjustable foot orthotic brace, okay? It fits both the right or the left foot. It sells for $14.95, and I have, a, I, have one, I have two of them, and I have them for $8 each. So I have one that is going to be item number 196, and the other is going to be item 197, and they're going to be $8 each. 196 and 197. 
put that over here. Let's see, what are you saying? You're not seeing anything. Can anyone see me? I can see you. You're going to rewatch Valerie? Wonderful. Thank you. Get your sissy to watch, too. Um, so slow it... Wait, what? <laughs> With everything shipping so slow, it's going to be crazy. Why? What do you mean shipping so slow? Why is that? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? <laughs> Uh, let's see. Is Matt working fine? Is he doing his job? Okay, I hope so. Is he going through for you, Mary? This next item here, this is a type of tea. This is a type of tea. This is interesting. This is vegetable tea. This is a uh, vegan friendly tea. You get all of these tea bags in here. They call it love tea and it's a vegetable tea and it sells for $8.90. I have it for $5.00. It, I don't know what to say about it. It's, you know, pretty little clear tea bags here. It's hard, kind of hard to see through there. I haven't tried it yet, but uh, but I think it sounds pretty interesting. Vegetable tea. Love tea. It's going to be item number 198, and that's $5. Item number 198 is $5. And then these, I have two sets of these. And we had these on once before. And again, these are great for your social distancing here. These are actually made for elementary school children, teachers, you know. What these are, are these are multicolored discs here. And they have a uh, Velcro-ish type of, on the one side here. So it has like a hook and loop here. And you put them on your carpet so that you tell your students, okay, I want, you know, everybody with the name XYZ, you know, to sit on the red squares or sit on the green squares. Or, you know, stand here, you know, stand on the colored dots. So that's exactly what these are. These are little markers here that you use on your carpet. You get a set of, they are a 45 piece set. They sell for $16.97 and I have them for $9 a bag. I have one at item number 199 and another one is gonna be item number 200. $9 a bag. You could use them for whatever you wanna use them, but. Okay, so we have some of these little mirrors here. These are little star mirrors here. A little dusty, it's a consigned item here, okay? So you have the little mirror. You see how it's, it sticks out like this? There's two panels and they face it backward like that. So this is the high point of it here. That you can hang up like this. Cute little things here, they're about this big. And we are gonna put these ones here. I'm just gonna do these all at $2 each. So I, you can pick and choose if you want to have three, if you want to have six, whatever you want. I have one that's going to be item number 201. They're metal and mirror. This is what the back of it looks like. The front of it, metal and mirror. And you could put a candle or something here, or you could, I think, just remove that part if you don't like that little part on there. Um, $2 each. This one is going to be item number 201. Then we have item number 202. 203 and 204, 205, and 206. So this goes all the way to item number 206. $2 each. Pick and choose how many you like. 201, 203, 204, 205, and 206. Cool little decor item. Would even be cool out on a barn, you know? Uh, the way that it's shaped there, it's like not too in your face, you know, but I think it would create a cool look with the light reflecting off of it. We're going to set them over here so they don't get damaged. Okay, next we have here, what is this? This is, this says wedding selfies. Okay, so this is a deck, it's like a deck of cards, but I believe what it is, is it gives you ideas for the different, you're buying for Christmas, I was on my tablet, apparently it's not working on my tablet, using your phone now. Oh, okay, so there you go. Tell me if you need any help with anything, Mary. Go right down, we're not playing. So like the little deck of cards, you use it for your wedding, and you're taking wedding selfies, so it's kind of like a game that you play with your wedding guests that you can leave them on the different, you know, wedding tables or reception tables, whatever. And their job is to get selfies in these particular poses. 
and it feels like it's a 52 card deck if not larger than that anyways it sells for 12.90 i have it for five dollars this is going to be item number 207 wedding selfie cards 207 then we have here this is a um a table runner this is a table runner it's a red lace table runner it's a new item it's going to be four dollars oh it's a it's a pretty one it's only pretty for the holidays it almost looks like it's a uh, poinsettia in there doesn't it red lace table runner and it looks like it is about two yards long new item very pretty four dollars this one is going to be item number 208 item 208 you can put that right across on the table itself, or you can put it on top of a um, tablecloth to have your tablecloth kind of peek through it there. Okay, that's two oh eight, four dollars. Okay, what's over here? What is over here? Move these things over here. Okay, so this item here, this is kind of unique item here. This is it's kind of going to be kind of hard to show, but. This is a set of boxes. You're getting 50 boxes in here. Say you do things like you make candy or you're giving everybody the same sort of gift or you want a very uniform look. Maybe you're not even putting anything in here and you're just using the box as part of your holiday decor. It's a really bright red color here. These boxes are six by six inches by four inches. That gives you an idea of the box right here. These are red, you're getting 50 pieces. They sell for $23.99 for the 50 pieces. They'll come like this, flat, in their package here. Again, they sell for $23.99. I have them for $10. $10, and this is going to be item number 209. Item 209. I'm gonna show you, here's the, put the label here, picture right off there for you to see, okay? So they sell for $23.99 red boxes, 50 pieces. This is going to be item number 209. 209, 10 bucks for all of them. And then we have here, we had these last week. I got another one for this week. Actually, it's a set for two. So this is um, a set of two. The brand is called Little Hippo. That's the name of the brand here. And these are more of these rope bags that we had last week. Now these ones are a little bit smaller here, but these there's it's a set of two and they're matching. So we have, this is the larger one right here, okay? Nice little rope bag. You see the handles are cut out onto the sides like this. This is what the colors look like up close here, all right? So that's the larger of the two, and then the smaller of the two is about this size, right here. You could easily fit a uh, gallon of milk inside of there, okay? And the exact same print of colors here. So you're getting the two-piece set. Again, this is a brand called Little Hippo. It sells for $26.99. I have the two-piece set for $16.00. And this is going to be item number 986. Is that right? I don't think that's right. That's what I have, 986, $16, two piece set of these rope baskets and they are really, really nice. I had some of them last week too and we had some smaller ones before too but these, they're just such a nice quality. I mean, they really lend themselves to so many decor themes in your home and whatnot. There's sticker. I got stuck on it there. But they're really nice. So I think you'd be very happy with them. Get both of them for $16. Again, this is item 986. I don't think it's supposed to be a 986. I think I got it mixed up, but that's what it's going to be. It's going to be 986 nonetheless. This is a little vintage piece right here. I did get it mixed up. These are the numbers I wanted to work with. This is a little vintage piece here. This is just a little stand for um, your candle, okay? You can get a, if you have a pretty candle and you need a pretty stand, this is a little vintage piece here. It's gonna be $4. It's item number 210. Kinda has that uh, faux wood look here. 
shiny little top on it there. It's in great condition, but you can see it's, it's an old vintage piece there. It's pretty cool. It's $4. Item number 210. 210. Item number 210. 210. And then what is this over here? Number 211. 211 is going to be, okay, so this is pretty cool here. <laughs> How would you expect, what would you expect of me to bring you next? How about some honey, honey? How about some honey? This is berry honey. It's from Lakewood, Washington, okay? 100% pure American berry honey. And it's a great big container of it here. And so this sells for $12.90. I have it for $8. It's a great big honey bear. And it's berry flavored honey. Berry flavored honey. That's number 211. 211 if you want to try that one. 211. Valerie, I see your, your picture's still showing. I don't think you got to, is Has your uh, waiter not come by yet? <laughs> there you go. What are you saying? What's it made out of? The honey? Is that what you're asking me? What the honey's made out of? <laughs> What you're asking me okay let's see what I got here I got some cookbooks there she can't be asking me what's honey made out of is she <laughs> um, fabulous food the Costco way this is a cookbook Costco cookbook here it's a paperback cookbook okay that's what it looks like it's this big it's three bucks fabulous food the Costco way it's gonna be item number two one two and if you get, oh, okay, <laughs> if you get 212, let me know. It has a little star on it. The candle holder, I'm going to say that it's, um, I don't know, some kind of, uh, some type of resin. Uh, so I don't know what exactly it's made out of. It's made out of something that is very reminiscent of the early 1970s. I'll tell you that. <laughs> It's like a plasticky resin, I suppose, of back in the day. Some sort of uh, mixture of something like that. It's a cool little thing, especially if you like those big fat candles at the holidays or on your table, you know, or you like to get, you know, sometimes I like to get those big fat candles and then decorate them with different things like colored stones or, you know, beads or whatever it is, ribbons, whatever you like. But it's a nice display thing here. So it's $4 for that one, dear. And if you did like it, let me tell you again, it's item number 210, 210, go lie down. Next item here, we got another cookbook. This one here is called Spectacular Cakes. This one, this consigned item, this is an older book here. Okay, it's a hardbound book, Spectacular Cakes. And let's see, it has a dust cover on it. And it really does have some pretty nice looking cakes inside of there, doesn't it? Even on the one on the back looks really pretty as well. There you go. Look at that cake. That's a really pretty looking cake. This one's also going to be three dollars, and this one is going to be item two one three. Thought my electro swing was fading there. That's going to be item two one three three dollars. And then what do we have here? We have another one. This one is sweet and simple party cakes. This is a soft bound book here. Sweet and simple party cakes. This one here is also three dollars. This one says it's made by Maisie, Maisie, May Clee Cadman of Maisie Fantasy. Sweet and simple party cakes. That one's item two fourteen. Three dollars on that one. Let's see which one we got. One more left. One more of those that are left over here. This one says Celebration Cakes. Is this the same? Can I just do one called Celebration Cakes? No, I did one called Spectacular Cakes. This one's called Celebration Cakes. It's also $3. This is a hardbound book. Okay. Let me show you here. This looks like, okay, so it has some templates in there. So if you're a cakey person, maybe these might interest you here. This one again, like I said, $3, and this one is going to be item number 215. Next, I have this little guy. I showed you this little guy before, but nobody bought him before, so he's getting marked down, okay? So now this little guy, which I can't even read my writing, I'm going to mark him down here over here. So this is a Park Sherman cow bank. Is that what it is? Coin bank. Park Sherman coin bank here. 
and it looks like a little bureau, doesn't it? A little dresser here. Now it does have a tiny little nick right there on the top drawer. But what happens is you open up the top drawer and you place your coin in the top drawer and when you close it, it falls down and into the bank here. So it's a very old school vintage bank. This is metal here, okay? So it's like a combination, there's, it looks like metal and plastic here. It's called a Park Sherman Coin Bank. And this one here is now going to be $5 here, okay? And this is gonna be item number 216, item 216. So it's, I've just reduced it here. It's a cool little item, this is how big it is here. Especially if you collect coin banks there, okay? Very good. Whoops, get down there please. Next, what do we got going on over here? Next over here, okay, so these are these balloons. I want to see, if somebody gets these balloons, I need you to come and take a picture when you have these balloons blown up because these are just incredible balloons. You're getting a set of three of them here. And uh, let's see what they, let's see what they are. Oh, you're getting a set of three of them for $4. They cost $7.98. You're getting a set of three for $4. Look at the size of this balloon here, okay? And you think that this, oh, that looks like the size of maybe like a punching bag balloon. These get to be 36 inches, 36 inches of balloon here. You get three in the pack, $4 for the pack. This is going to be item number 217. Item 217, jumbo confetti balloons. Plus they have a bunch of confetti inside it. But they get to be huge. So I want to see your, if you get it, I want to see a picture of you with the balloon. I want to see just how huge you get to be with that balloon there. Okay, I'm going to get over here for a second. Oh, excuse me. Okay, next item here, this is a pretty cool item. This is an old school item here. This is a hammered tin dish here. So you have the silver bowl here. It's aluminum. It's an aluminum bowl. It, pretty aluminum bowl. It's, it's, it's an oldie. Let me see if I can see what the uh, outside of, underside of it is, is marked here. It is marked BHW. BHW. Oh, I can't say this word. <laughs> BHW Bluminum. Bluminum is what they call it. B U E N I L U N. Bluminum. Bluminum? Bluminum? <laughs> Am I saying it right? I don't know if I'm saying it right. But it's a really cool old school bowl. And see, so you see all the detail around the side of it here, around the rim of it there. Here's the interior of the bowl. We're going to need to clean up around the bottom of the bowl. But it's all in good shape. And then it has the hammered aluminum top to it here with the beading that goes around. And it has a wood, a wood finial here on the top of it, too. That's the underside of it. So it's a very interesting and really cool old school bowl. Shine it up really nice and it'll look great on your dinner table there. This bowl is going to be item number 218, and this bowl is going to be $8. 218, $8. For a aluminum, aluminum, aluminum bowl. Go lay down, please. Go lay down. Okay, over here. Right here. There's so many heavy things there. So now we have this. This is the. Uh, uh, Madonna statue here. This is a Mikasa brand, brand uh, Viking brand. Viking brand glass here. It's heavy. It's a heavy statue. It's a flat back here. So you could actually use it if you wanted to prop up books over here. But you can also just use it on a windowsill or somewhere where the light would reflect through it. It would be really pretty. It's a frosted glass piece here. This is from the 1970s here. And this sells for about 30 bucks currently here online. And I'm going to mark it down to $12 now, okay? So it's going to go for $12. If you like this one, it's going to be item number 219. And it's going to be $12. 
as I said, it is a heavier piece, okay? It's in perfect condition. It has its Viking label here on the back of it, and I've just marked it down to $12 from the 1970s, okay? Very pretty piece here. Next I have over here, we have a little bit of vintage things here tonight. Now these ones here, I showed these ones once before. I actually showed two sets of these, but I did sell the other set. So this is the only one we have left here. And this is, it's, a, it's new still. It's so fun to find vintage things when they're still new, that nobody's opened them, somebody's gotten them as a gift, and then somebody's tucked them away or something, you know, you have no idea why, but it's fun to find them because it's fun to find things that are old, but made. The, but when you open them up, they look like they were made yesterday. So this is all the original box, the original packing and everything here for it, okay? And I think it was a holiday gift here at one time because it looks like somebody put a little peppermint sticker there on the outside of it there, okay? Matt is mad at you for real? Well, I don't know. Matt has you marry at 217. He just doesn't want to talk to you. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not sure why. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Did Valerie, did you get the number that you needed? I'm sorry. You're stuck. It's pouring and you're in the house and your kids are stuck in the car. Oh. Oh my gosh. And it's got to be so sticky and hot there too. Go lie down. Oh my gosh. I have my nerves tonight. Anyways, this one here, I think the other set was kittens when we sold the kittens. But this one here are these adorable, adorable set of three. They look like pugs to me. Is that what they look like to you? Look, I think they look like pugs because look at his posture here and that short tail like that. That's what they look like to me. So here he is. There's the bigger one here, okay? Ah, I gotta be very careful because they're breakable. Then there's the smaller one here. It's like a magic trick. And then she pulled out. <laughs> and there's the other one, mama one sitting there. So it looks like we have a mama and a papa and a baby pug. And they are porcelain and they are vintage and they are really, really sweet. And they're small, See how you see how small they are, okay? give you an idea of how small they are. So I had these when I showed these before. Now we're going to take them down to 10 bucks for the set of three of them, okay? So it's going to be $10 for the set of three. They are vintage. It's going to be item number 220. $10. You're getting the set of three. Uh, let's see if I can try and find you any more information, but I don't see anything that's any label written on here. Nothing, no maker on there. Item 220, it's gonna be $10. Let me change the price here so we don't forget. Okay, very good. That's gonna be item number 220. Next I have over here, this is kind of cool. Whoops. So these, now these I have marked separately here. These are the vintage McDonald's French Bulldog. Is that what it is? There you go. Did you get 219? I don't know if you did, dear. Pam, yes, you did. You got 219. You got it. Yes, you did. French Bulldog. So you must have had a French Bulldog, Rose, right? Is that what the story is? I mean, how would you know all of that? I don't know. Some, of, some breeds I used to be really good at, and then others I just look at, and I'm like, I have no clue what this one is. These are the old school McDonald glasses here. Do they have a date on them? I don't know if they have a date on it. These are from the movie Batman Forever, so you can figure that out whenever that movie came out. I'm not sure when that movie came out. McDonald's Batman Forever. So this one here is Two-Face. Okay. And it, this is Two-Face right here. And then what he's actually doing is he's flipping a coin, and you're watching the coin. The handle's all made out of the coin. And so the coin is flipped here. And then you have the city of Gotham here. Looks like a Riddler Batman here. We're going to do these tonight at four bucks each. This one here is going to be item 221. We got this one here, which is, this one looks like Robin. Oh, this one, oh, this is, uh, looks like, let's see. 
It almost looks like it's freezing at the top. I was wondering if that has to do with Mr. Freeze, but it's Robin. I see the R over here, the R emblem here, and we see Robin here, and we see the Batmobile in the back here. Again, tonight it's going to be just $4 now. This is going to be item 221 and then we have this one here, which is the same as I just showed you a minute ago. That's the one with Two-Face, and he's flipping the coin. Again, $4, item number 223. And then lastly, I have this one here, which is the Riddler. This is kind of cool, because look at how they did the handle of it. Because your normal handle would be faced like that when you go to drink it. But because he's the Riddler, it's all upside down. So there he is. Kind of hard to maybe see him in there, but there he is. That's the Riddler. And these are all the McDonald's Batman Forever series here. The Riddler is going to be item number 224. And those are going to be $4 each. So if you like them, speak up now. $4 each. They're cool for the person that really likes the Batman stuff, you know. If you have somebody in your life that's, that's a big Bat fan, a big Bat fan. And this one here, well, actually, I'm going to leave that one right there for a second here. So, next item I have here, this is also something that would make a fantastic gift. A fantastic gift. This is a bag of organic black peppercorn here. The bag of peppercorn sells for $18, okay? And then we have this, the Cookware Creative Wooden Pepper Mill here, which I'll show you in just a minute. The Pepper Mill sells for $9. So together, if you were to buy them right offline right now, together you'd be paying $27. I have this set of two of them for $14. This is what the Pepper Mill looks like. Okay, there you go, pepper mill, and the entire bag, I guess this is a pound, let me see how much this is, this is a, um, hmm, what does it say, yep, one pound, one pound of black peppercorns here, and the pepper mill here, so again, instead of the $27, it's going to be $14 for the both of them, it's going to be item number 225. And again, this would make a really nice gift. And not only, um, it could be a great gift for a cook in your life, but it would also make a nice hostess gift too. And it's an unusual hostess gift, you know? But I think that, that would make a nice little hostess gift, you know, peppercorn and a pepper mill. Why not? Why not? <coughs> Excuse me, in lieu of the bottle of wine or in lieu of the flowers, I think that's a great little idea. And then we have this little vintage piece here, too. Now, this is going to be from the um, 1990s, the early 1990s here. This is a Lennox piece. Very pretty. Lennox trinket box. And it's a nice size trinket box. You see how nice how it's taking up my whole hand like this? Nice size Lennox trinket box. And it is in perfect condition. It looks Again, like it has never been touched since day one. Label on the bottom here would make a gorgeous gift. Put something pretty inside of there, too. And it's a music box as well. So I'm going to wind it up so that you can... Can you hear it? Pretty? Very pretty. It's gorgeous. And this is 10 karat gold that it is gilded in here along the sides. Perfect, 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 pretty. $10, $10 for this, which is, con again, considerably lower than what it's currently going for online. And this one is item number 226. Item number 226, $10. I'll put that one right here. It's still singing its song inside of there. But that looks almost new. I mean, it is in just such perfect condition. And that takes us to 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock already? 8 o'clock already? Guess what we're going to do? 
I'm going to do a whole bunch of $3 items for you. I'm going to do a whole bunch of $3 items for you, and you're going to love it. You're going to love it. <laughs> so, refresh your drinks here. I swear, it's water and blackberries. Oops, now it's water and blackberries on the floor. Now it's the dog licking water and blackberries. Mmm. <laughs> I'm going to refresh mine, and we're going to make this fast. And we're going to do a whole bunch of $3 items. And I hope I'm going to show you something. I didn't give out too many prizes, though. Am I missing somebody? Did I miss anybody with their prize? Your sound is gone. Stop and refresh. Well, <laughs> I, somebody, I need to talk sign language to her. Refresh. <laughs> Read my lips, Miss Pam. Refresh. Pam, what does that say? June 16th, 1995. What is that? You raised bullies in a former life. Oh, okay, there you go. Um, what is June 16th, 1995? Does that have something to do with the Lennox? Fermented blackberries? They're not fermented, they're frozen. <laughs> they're, from, they're from the Walmart. <laughs> I don't think they're fermenting them up there. They don't pay them enough to bother fermenting them. But they are good. They are good. Okay, what is what is Pam Wyatt telling me? Oh, the Batman Forever premiered. So those are from the 1990s? How about that? June 16th, 1995. That's awesome little Batman uh, memorabilia for, for those that are like that sort of thing. I mean, it's a kind of a cool thing to find. Be right back. Okay. Refresh. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to get ready to, if I let you out, you are not to bark. No barking. Got that? No barking. Okay, so I got a whole bunch of th $3 things here. Oh, wait, I forgot to do, oh, wait a minute, I forgot to do two more things here. Before I get to my $3 things, I forgot to do this one here. I wanted to put this one out tonight, too. Okay, so this one here, I'm going to mark this one. Oh, I can use the glasses on my head. So this little guy here, he looks like the Easter Island guy, doesn't he? He looks like one of the guys on Easter Island. He's made all out of wood. And what he is, is he is a nose to hold your glasses. He's a nose to hold your glasses. So that's what he's cut for there, is to hold your glasses so that you don't have your glasses lying around on the table there. So he's going to go down to $4 tonight, okay? Our little uh, Easter Island looking guy here. He's about that big. I like him. I think he's pretty funny looking with his nose like that. With his big old fat nose hanging out like that. Mm. <laughs> he's going to be item number 227. Item number 227. If I missed anybody with prizes, let me know. Okay? Because um, I would hate to miss anybody with prizes. Okay? What, did you, what are you saying there? You're my internet lookup assistant tonight. That's perfectly fine. Where is Kathy? Kathy usually likes to, likes to do her Googling there. Where is she at tonight? She might have a dinner date too. That's the thing about Friday nights. Sometimes people have dinner dates and whatnot, you know? So, okay. So the other um, things I want to show you here, this last one here. So this one here is the last cake stand I have of this design here. Okay, and this comes off the top so I can mail it, you know, I can just twist off the top and put it into two pieces there so that it's not taking up space like that. But it's like a silver color here, cut out along there, pretty little cake stand about this high here, metal cake stand here. And so tonight I have this cake stand here for $8, $8 for this cake stand, full size cake stand. See, full size cake stand here. Really pretty little item here. It's gonna be $8 tonight. And this one is gonna be item number 228 and it has a star. It has a star. So if you decide to get this one, it's gonna be $8 and it has a star. And you have to let me know that you're the winner winner. Okay. Are we all ready? Are we good? Are we ready to do our $3 items? I know I am. We've got so many here that it's going to be a good time. And it's going to be fun and fast. Thinking about how the best way to do this is, is to maybe move this over here. And so that I can move the box right up here. 
We'll have things right in front of me. It's all a matter of moving around, manipulating this from here to there. Don't want to break things. Okay. I think that should be good. My doggy being good? Come on. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Just opening this door for 30 seconds, you can feel the heat. It just, I, I mean, it, seriously, opening the door five inches to let the dog in, six inches, and you can just feel the, the wall of heat out there. Okay, go lay down, please. We are gonna get started now. What is this? Oh, that guy's don't need that. It's looking, okay. So we're gonna start here. The numbers are gonna be in the 900s. Oh, here we go. We have a winner, winner. Do you have your sound back, dear? Do you have your sound back, Miss Pam? Winner, winner, Pam. I'm gonna give you a prize package, prize package. Okay, I'm gonna put your name on a prize package. I made up a whole bunch of little prize packages here. And you are gonna get it. I am glad your dog got a drink and you got a bath. <laughs> What kind of dog do you have, Pam? Tell me what kind of dog you have. Um, so you guys have all seen my dog. And my dog is, as best as I can figure out without a genetic test, um, as best as I can figure out, he is what they call a, a uh, Karnauser, which is a Karen Terrier, like the kind Toto was in The Wizard of Oz, with a mini Schnauzer. Uh, so they call it a Karnauser. And when I Google Karnauser, they all look just like Sparrow, except they also come in a, um, like a vanilla color, like a, like a toffee and vanilla color, like almost like a latte look to them too, which are also just totally adorable there. But um, that's as best as we can figure out. So we're sticking with that as it is right now, but it is so hot out there. So what do you guys have here? You have two golden retrievers. There you go. There you go. <laughs> what are you oopsing, Joan? Oh, because you put 22? And what did you want to put, hon? Joan, you put 22 and you wanted to put 220? Is that what you wanted to put? The French Bulldogs? Is that which was? I don't know which one it was. Tell me if you need help with anything, though, okay? Let me know. Okay, so everything I'm going to show you right now is going to be $3, and we're going to work fast. We're going to get through a lot of things here. And I hope we're going to have some fun here. So, first item is going to be number 901. 901, this is a set of what looks to be uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, maybe. 10 dragons. These are how to train your dragon dragons. These are little figurines here. How to train your dragon dragons. And let me tell you this, that uh, these are pretty cool. So cool, as in fact that my uh, my son decided to keep a bag for himself and he's 15. <laughs> so these are 901, number 901. And then we have here, these is 902. And these are like little, uh, they're kind of like Power Rangers. I don't think they're legitimately Power Rangers, but they appear to be. They're, they're also each individually wrapped here. They're all different colors here, okay? And there are these little figurines here. And so they appear to be like little Power Ranger types here. This one is going to be number 902. 903 is this pretty little ceramic. Uh, ceramic. You could use it as a sugar bowl here. You could use it, you know, to mix makeup or something up inside of there. Whatever you wanted to use it for. It's number 903. Little ceramic white jar container here. We'll call it a sugar bowl. Now, that's number 903. We're calling it a sugar bowl. It may be, it may not be. Number 904, this is cute. <laughs> and I could probably still use these, but it's made for a baby. It's 904. It's how to teach your baby how to use chopsticks here. So it has the actual finger guides on the chopsticks here at the top, like where you put your finger. You know, here, there you go, so you can see. So that's how you teach your baby how to use chopsticks. It's number 904, or your young child, I suppose. Number 905 is this pretty little glass juice container. It's You see, it's a nice ribbed juice container here. 
It has a, a rubbery lid on the top, little pour spout on it there, glass juice container. It's about that size. I guess this would be about, what, one liter or so? Is that what it would be? What would you call this? You would call this one, get one um, what would you call this? Two pints equals a, no, wait. What is it? Are there four pints in a four pints in a quart, right? Are those pints? What's two? no four quarts in a gallon? This is a quart. This is a quart. Okay. <laughs> I think I know this stuff. Why do I not? How come I can't verbalize this stuff? I know this stuff. <laughs> so you just get overwhelmed. You're like, wait, what was that? Okay. Oh, I see Amy's on. Hi, Amy. How are you? <laughs> okay, this is number 906. Again, everything's $3 here. Number 906. This is adorable. This is the little children's chef set. So not only do you get the little pot holders and then the little uh, the little chef's hat. Here, I don't know what this other little... I guess it's a little apron. And then you get little cookie cutters and a little whisk and a little rolling pin. You get all sorts of... What's this? A little... Little wooden spoon. <laughs> this is gonna be item number 906, and it's gonna be three dollars. Really cute. And as a matter of fact, if I'm not mistaken, I think wasn't it was it you, Pam, that said um, Pam Wyatt that said, wouldn't this be cute for um, to take a newborn baby's picture in? You know how they fluff up the babies into those cute little pictures and whatnot. But that would be a real cute item for that too. Chef set. Did I give it a number? 906. Yep. How you doing tonight, Amy? You doing good? You missed the first part. You'll have to go back and review. I'm not repeating myself. <laughs> These are Tim Burton stickers, okay? These all have to do with the nightmare before Christmas, right? Am I saying it right? So if you were a fan of that Halloween movie or Jack and Sally here, these are all stickers that are made up Tim Burton style here, okay? And it looks like there's probably 50 or so in the pack here. This pack is gonna be number 907. Tim Burton stickers, 907. It's gonna be three bucks. 907, three bucks. Here we go, 908. 908 is this sweet little ballerina. A little acrylic base, little metal pole. Little acrylic uh, dress form, doll form up here at the top. Little tool outfit. Just a sweet little ballerina. Cute, cute. This one's going to be number 908. $3, number 908. Over here, this is a... So do we know what this is? I'm not sure if we decided we knew if we knew what this is or not. I think I looked this up. And for some reason, I want to say what it, what it's used for. And Valerie is going to think it's if you put peanut butter on it and lick it. No. <laughs> but what I think it is, it's shaped kind of like a strawberry or an apple, I suppose. I think it is to stick at the bottom of your sink. And then when you're bringing your glasses into your sink, you can turn your glasses upside down in these little... Uh, needles that are sticking up here make sure that your glass doesn't fall over and break in the sink or something like that so that's what it is it's this big I think that's what it is at least that's what I'm sticking to this one's gonna be number 909 item number 909 if you need that for your sink the next item here oh, let's see what this one is oh this is pretty oh I didn't even open this one yet let's see this one is going to be oh it's double bag maybe I won't get it all the way open. I won't get it all the way open so it's a little peacock hair accessory it's on a little clip here on the back you can see it has a little gem and some peacock feathers there so it'd be a little hair accessory like that very pretty little item here this one is going to be item number nine eleven nine ten nine ten this would even be pretty, uh, I'll tell you what, one year I did my whole tree had peacock feathers coming out. I just bought a whole bunch of peacock feathers and had them all coming out. But you could even clip that right onto the tree to make a pretty little ornament out of it there. Of course, it will look prettier once you straighten out the, the feathers a little bit in there. But this one is going to be item number 910. Three bucks. 910. What do we got over here? 
Now this is a luggage strap. This is a nice luggage strap. This is a nice heavy duty canvas luggage strap. Nice gold hardware on it as well with these pretty little embroidered bumblebees throughout it here. So you have the gold, nice gold hardware. See, so just clip it onto your, to your luggage. Just that easy. That easy. You don't have to do anything special. Make it stand out a little bit. Pretty little luggage strap there. This one is going to be item number 911. Number 911. Three bucks. Here we go. Is a little rubber mat. It's the ocean. It's the ocean. Okay, so if you're missing the ocean, you're not on vacation, put this little rubber mat under your feet. Nice. It's a thick little, um, so, so we, Nice to be standing on right about now, to be honest with you. <laughs> oh, it looks like it's about a yard long. It looks like it's about one yard long and maybe a half a yard wide here. But it's wipeable. The surface is wipeable on here, okay? So a little ocean mat is going to be item number 912. $3. 912 is $3. And I have another little mat here. Now this one here... The only thing about this one here is I noticed that this one here, it's going to be hard to see maybe, it kind of has a blue line. I guess it's like a, I don't know if it's a thread or what, but it's kind of hard to see. But it is, there, there is a slight blue line here. But this is another mat here, and it's a giant octopus mat here. This is more like the style that has the no-slip grip on the back that we're kind of familiar with here, like maybe on a bathroom mat. Hemmed around all of the sides here. Giant octopus mat. Giant octopus mat. Again, three bucks. We're going to call this one 913. If you like this one, say 913. Say sold. 913. That's all you have to do. That's all you have to do. Say sold 913. Now this I contemplated keeping too. <laughs> I can't keep everything, though. That's the problem. I, I want too many things. There's Rose Bates. How are you, Miss Rose? I can't keep everything. But sometimes you see things, you're like, oh, that's really clever, and that would really come in handy. This is a magnet. It's a magnet for your refrigerator, okay? And it's already divvied into your columns here. And so there's enough for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, if you wanted to make your columns like that. Maybe you're having a chore chart. Maybe it's a rewards chart for a preschooler. Maybe it's, you know, your honey-do list. Or maybe it's, hey, block these times out of the week for me because I have, you know, this going on or whatever it happens to be. It's number 914. It's a giant magnet. If Kathy Jordan was on right now, which she's not, and I'm disappointed. <laughs> You know, I told that story about me wanting to stick the giant Instapot magnets on the side of my car and just drive around and be like, park it next to, you know, Sam's, uh, Sam's electrical, you know, business with his magnet on his truck and I pull up with my magnet on mine. <laughs> you can pull up with your chore chart sitting right there on the side of your car. It's going to be item number 914. 914. Okay, this is going to be item number 915. This is a consigned item here. Now, what the purpose originally was of this item was for, um, I think it was, she told me it was for floss, meaning embroidery floss. But you're getting 9,000 Ziploc bags, <laughs> apparently, um, attached to this large ring that opens up, you know, that you can add more to if you want or take some off if you want. Oh, and it looks like it has a separate little ring with even more Ziploc bags on it here. So if you have a need for these little, it says, what does it say? Flo oh, the bags are even, that's why it's called that, because the bags say floss away. So I guess it's for embroidery floss is what the intention is. But you could use it for whatever you wanted to use it for. It's item number 915. Number 915. What is this? This is, oh, this is a shave apron. Okay, so I usually, I've showed you these before, the shave aprons with the suction cups that suction onto the mirror. Usually I show you white. This is a black shave apron with the suctions. And it also has the, um, the guide tool to shape your beard, the plastic guide tool so that you can play around with different beard styles. 
It's going to be number 916, $3. <coughs> Excuse me. Let me get some berries in here. Ah, good stuff. What is this? This is, oh, this is, um, so if you have very light skin, if you're a very light skin person and you get, and you burn often, these are nylon pink, little pink gloves, and they just have a little, a uh, little slot right there for your thumb to go in, and you wear them so that your arms don't get burned, especially if you are, have a, a job maybe that you're driving and your arm is often exposed to the sun, you know, or if you're just if you're in a position where you're you're always having your arms exposed to the sun and you need to protect them a little bit this is what these are they are pink they are nylon and they protect you from the sun without wearing a long sleeve shirt item number 917 I was talking about the baby pictures okay and this is the only part I have but it was it's still freaking adorable here I don't have any little hat or anything that goes with this but I just have the little diaper part here. It is a new thing. It's a little crocheted piece here. And it's a little crocheted diaper for a newborn here with a little pom-pom tail on the top of it here. This one's gonna be item number 918, three bucks. 918, three bucks. Bunny butt. Could be a little bunny butt. Sounds like something I call my dog all the time, bunny butt. This is jade, this is a jade roller. It's a jade facial roller here. So you put it on, you know, it's like a massaging thing for your for your skin here. And then it also comes with another piece of jade as well here too. Sometimes people use these in, uh, what do I wanna call it? More like a homeopathic sort of um, beauty treatments, whatnot. So you're getting both of the jade pieces here. It's gonna be number 919. Item number 919. What are you saying to me? <clears throat> uh, I never bought anything yet and I didn't know how it worked. Oh, well, it works so easy, Rose. It's easy and welcome. <laughs> um, did Matt get your 902, Joan? Your power is out, Mary? Why is your power out? Are you getting storms? Or is it just a, a freaky thing? You're going to have to get off to save battery. Well, absolutely. Is it a storm, Mary, or what? Stay safe. Um, okay, did Mac get 902? Let me see. Uh, I don't see 902. Jo yes, Joan, he does have 902. You're good with 902. And what's and what is Rose saying? I'm sensitive to the sun. The Irish blood in me gets very red. Yes. Okay. There's Ellen. Hi, Ellen. How are you? I'm curious about is Mary having storms? Because Mary is not that far away from me uh but she's far enough that my skies aren't gray so i don't know if that's why her power is going out or not okay we're on three dollar items ladies speaking of ladies how about ladies golf balls you need are you a golfer looks like there's three in here uh this says bridgestone golf pink balls here it doesn't necessarily have to be ladies it could be like a breast cancer type ball thing or whatever right get a set of three Three dollars. This one's going to be item number nine twenty. Nine twenty. Over here we have this little. Um, this is a little old school piece here of hmm, cast iron. Cast iron. A little cast iron trivet here. Three legged trivet. Little spade shape here. You can hang it on the wall if you like, or you could use it as a practical matter. Cast iron trivet. It's going to be item number nine two one. Three dollars. Then what do we have over here? These are some insoles for your shoes here. This says, uh, well, let's see what it says. It says insoles for women's shoes size, uh, women's seven to nine. And they're kind of thick ones too. They're nice, thick, squishy ones here. Okay. That's what they look like. They're going to be 922 is the number for these. Number 922. Number 922. Here we have the um, the set of the three bra strap extenders in a cream, black, and a white color. Okay. And it looks like they have some other extenders here. These might be strap extenders. I'm not sure. But they also come in three colors here. They're triple, triple hook. Number 923. 
bra strap extenders, nine, two, three. So this is the interesting thing about bra straps. <laughs> I'm sure you weren't expecting that. <laughs> so this is an interesting thing about bra straps. People, I've read this, that people think that um, you should, how does it work? People think that you should, um, the reason why there are three different notches on your bra strap is your bra is supposed to fit you on the last uh, set of hooks. And as the elasticity in the bra strap starts to break down and become a little not as tight as it once was, that's why the other sets are there for you to decrease size on there, like pull it tighter, okay? Instead of making it larger, you're pulling it tighter actually because you're because the elasticity has broken down over time. Interesting fun fact there. I thought you'd like that. <laughs> Okay, so these were what we had before. They were like cat paws. These are not cat paws. These are just regular little socks here. But I have to say, these are so funny because I didn't know anything about this. And then Jennifer sent me a picture that these go on the bottom of your chair so that you're not dragging your chair across your floor and marring up your floor. So it's a set of four of these here. When, we, when I had them last week, they had little cat paws cat paws and whatnot on here. These is, this is number 924. 924. Those ones are all in black style here. Okay, then we have this awesome poster. Nice poster. See, the back of it's all canvas here. I don't know if you can tell this is not paper. This is canvas here. This is a really nice poster. So we have this poster here. Okay. Can you see? Very good. So this is our, um, ex, I guess this, these are our Marvel characters here. <laughs> That's about as good as I'm going to get here. Marvel character canvas poster here. It's big here too. Look, this is how big it is. As big as I am here. You can just tack it up on the wall like that. You could use those poster hanger things I had the other day. Or you could frame it if you'd like. This one here is going to be item number 925. It's $3. And I have one more of those. It's a different style, though, and it's going to be this one here, okay? And this one here is going to be number 926, 926, again, $3. And again, this is, it, this is not a paper poster. This is a canvas poster, 926. Oh, I hope the stickers will stick to those there that it's not paper okay so this is a core it can be used it says it can be used for apples or pineapples or whatever I would think of I don't know how you would use it for a pineapple but you know it takes out the center of your apple here it's a core is what it is apple core it's going to be item number nine two seven nine two seven okay yeah apple core by professional stainless steel Apple pineapple pear decor. That's what it says. 927, right? Okay, next item here. These are, uh, this is also a new item here. These are drapery pullbacks, tie pullbacks. You get your hooks here, your little gold hooks here. And then you get a set of four of these. Here we go. Four of these, so they have they're they're almost like a pale yellowish color here. Okay, and then they have the braided cord here, and then you hook that onto the ho the hook. So you're getting a set of four along with the four hooks that come in here. It's going to be item number nine two eight nine two eight, and again, just three bucks. Nine two eight is three bucks. <clears throat> This one's going to be 929. Very pretty. Music box again. Another trinket jar music box here. This one here is the San Francisco Music Box Company. Little vintage piece here. Okay, I'd get a toothbrush in here and clean up some of the dust that I see inside of the uh, rose if I were you. 
On the top of it, it says always and forever. It's a porcelain trinket box. And when we play it, can you hear it? I don't know if you guys can hear it or if you can't hear it, but it's playing. <laughs> So there it is, porcelain music box here, trinket box here from the San Francisco Music Box Company. This one here is item number 929. 929. Can always find some cool things on $3 day, huh? These here, again, so this is for if you, um, maybe you make cookies, maybe you make something that you're giving chocolates or something like that. Okay, so this is the cardboard liner okay let me see how many one two three, four five it looks like five of them here and then these are the acrylic boxes here now these they actually have a peel you have to peel off the protection on them for them to be able to be super uh transparent so you're getting a set of the acrylic boxes with the paper liners that fit into the acrylic boxes. They're about this big here, okay? And it's gonna be number 930, 930, and it's gonna be three bucks. 930 is gonna be three bucks. What do we got here? This is another little vintage piece. Ooh, sugar. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Toppled right off the side there. This is another little vintage piece here. And this piece here is from the 1980s. Now, this piece here, it shows some age on it with some scratching. You probably, What I would advise to clean this up are those little white Mr. Magic sponges. You know what I'm talking about? Um, to, to buff out, to gently buff out any scratches that are on here. Because they're not deep scratches. They're more like wear scratches. But it's the little black lacquer. Here's your mirror at the top here. One drawer, two drawer, three drawer, jewelry box, and this is the little print, the little foiled print that's on the top here. It looks like a couple of birds, right? Is that what it looks like? Yes, it does. It looks like a couple of birds and some flowers. So, um, real cute little thing. Oh, and here it does have its label on the back that says handcrafted in Japan. Handcrafted in Japan. Vintage little trinket box here, okay? This one is going to be item number 932. Item 932. Okay? Oh, now let's see what fell. Oh, it fell. That box is getting pushed out of here. Okay. It's still getting pushed out of there. My... Okay, so you're having a doggy birthday party? Then you're going to need some cool party decorations. These are all different doggies wearing all different funny outfits on here, and it's a bunch of garland that you create for your doggy birthday party or your kid birthday party or wherever. It's a cute little item here. It's going to be item number 933. 933, little doggies there. Then we have two of these. These are the motivational posters. These are the really nice ones here, okay? You're getting, oh, one, two, three, four, five. A set of five of them here. I have two different sets. These are the heavy, glossy paper. You see how glossy they are in the light here? Motivational signs here. They have the pre-stick on the back. You just tear off the back and stick it right onto the wall. So they say things like sometimes on the way to a dream, you get lost and you find a better one and be a wolf, set goals, smash them, seven rules of life. This is your life. Change it. Stop watching TV. Do it often. Be beautiful when you eat. Seize them. I can't read. <laughs> I'm not reading them all. I'm reading bits and pieces. It's probably not making a lot of sense. Love what you do. Do what you love. There's just one life to live and it's no time to waste. Ten things that require zero talent. Making an effort, being high energy, being nice, blah, 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 blah. So you have five of these. They're really nice. They're big. They'd be great in a school environment, an office environment. They'd be great around your house if you have somebody you need to motivate there and hang them up here. Did I say five? Right? I was wrong. It looks like there's six. Six in the package here. Okay? And so for package number one here, this one is going to be item number 934. 
three bucks. Three bucks. They're really nice, believe me. And then we have nine thirty-five also. Three bucks. Okay. Okie dokie. Oh my god, this cute little fish. You put batteries in him like this. And he swims around the pool like that. His tail goes back and forth, and these little flippers move. That's all you have to do. He has a little push button right there. Cute little fish like that. This one's going to be item 936. 936, three bucks. And then we have over here, okay, so I have two of these, and I'd rather show them both together. So let me put that here. Let's do this one. Here's 937. This is a set of, these are like Ziploc bags but they're silicone bags, they're silicone Ziploc bags. And it says reusable food storage, etc. BPA, PVC, and lead free. Okay, so I think you get a set of five of them in here. You get two or three smaller ones, half size, like that big, and then you get two or three larger ones that are this size. It's gonna be number 937, that's how big they are. 937, three bucks. And we have 938. 938 is this. You're getting these sell for um, $10.99. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's going to be three bucks. What they are is they are ring displays. They are black velvet. These are all kind of tubular here. So you can insert your rings inside to display your rings in there. If you maybe sell rings or you just need them on your jewelry box, you need some way to. To fit all your rings in so there you go again they sell it sells for uh, $10.99 it's three dollars now it's 938 number 938 oh and here's some more of those Power Ranger type toys here okay that's what they look like here there's a, they're about three inches tall <clears throat> okay these ones are going to be number 939 9.39. Let's see what this is. Okay, so this is huge, massive. I think this was best made for maybe a gymnasium or something like that. But you can always make it your own by uh, if if the saying doesn't fit you, you can always just cut out the words and rearrange words and make your own things. This is the vinyl lettering. So this is where you peel off the back of it and you put it on the wall when you take your credit card and you get the vinyl to stick onto your wall. But what the saying is here is it says, you will never know your limits until you push yourself to them, okay? So it's really large here, these um, vinyl letterings here. But maybe you could find a use for it. I don't know if you can or not. It seems like something that would be good in a, in a gym or, um, you know, again, it's another motivational sort of thing there. This one is going to be item number 940. 940. What's 945? Oops, what's 941? 941 is this pack of cute stickers here. These are... Waterproof, bleh, waterproof, they're waterproof stickers. They are, um, oh look, it's like a little corgi or something like that, right? A little cute corgi dog here. Getting a whole bunch in this package. They're probably a little smaller than the average ones. They're probably about two and a half inches or so. They look real cute though. Put them on your water bottle, put them on your, oh, they're all dogs. They look like they're all corgis. Maybe they're other dogs too. I don't know. Hmm. I don't know. They're cute. Little dog in a bag there. Anyways, it's going to be $3 here for this. No, this dog should not be wagging when I say little dog. <laughs> but he is. This one here is going to be item number 941. And then we have this summer set here, which is like sailboats and flowers and all kind of summery looking things here. This one's going to be number 942. Then we have these cards here. We had this set the other day um, that was the Civil War, and now this is the Legends of the West, okay? So these are postcards here, and they have various characters, a play, the players in the West, like Buffalo Bill here, uh, who's this? Kit, Kit Carson, uh, Geronimo, various people that were players in the uh, Western world. Annie Oakley here. 
So they're they're a nice little homeschool item in there too. You know, not only could you just mail them out as postcards if you cared to, but it's kind of a cool little thing if you were doing a little homeschool lesson here. And you're getting a whole set of them here. I'm not sure how many are in a set, but there's a whole bunch. There's a whole bunch in here. Look. Okay. And that's going to be number 943. Item number 943. Then we have over here number 944. This is a little stainless steel. Um, the brand is called Echo EKCO e -E Stainless Steel. It's a measuring cup here. You can see the measurements. Where are the measurements written? Are they on that side? Oh, no, they're on this side. You see the measurements are written in here like that? So it's, and it has like uh, little spouts on both sides here. This measures up to two and a half cups. It's going to be number 944. Item number 944. Measuring cup. What's next? Item number 945. This is another vintage item here. This is made out of a license plate. It's called the Recycled Road Journal. So the license plate says Watcher, W-A-T-C-H-E-R. It is a, an actual license plate here. It says Recycled Road Journal. And inside, it's just it just has the date. It has like little, you know, U.S. cities. Uh, that sort of thing here, and then these are all just blank pages here of a three of a multi ring binder here that snaps shut like this. And let's see, it says it's from 1998, a little vintage item from 1998. It's going to be item number 945. 945. What is this? Oh, this is that black and white. I wasn't sure exactly what these were. I was saying, were they dresser scarves? They were so large to be dresser scarves. Could they go over the bottom of your bed? You know, like if you like uh, at the tail end of your bed. They measure about 12 inches this way here. But this, this long wise, that's like what? One, that's one, two. This is about three yards long because this is doubled right now, okay? Three yards long, 12 inches wide, and you're getting two pieces of them. It's black and white striped. Black and white striped. They are hemmed on all the edges here, but they don't have a pocket. It's not like they are um, balances, but not to say you couldn't make one out of them if you wanted to. You're getting both pieces here. New item. Item is going to be item number 946. Item 946. Then what do we have over here? This is contact paper. This is contact paper made to look like, um, let's say it's made to look like uh, granite, okay? That kind of look, like a marbly granite look. It's kind of a gray color here. Two rolls of them, you're gonna get both rolls. Both rolls of contact paper, lots of paper on there. What does it say right here? It says they, s oh no, it doesn't have that on it. Okay, so you're getting two rolls of the granite contact paper here. If you have a need to line some drawers with it, maybe. Maybe you have, uh, I don't know what you're going to do with it. You'll find, a, you'll find a use. It's number 947, and you're going to get both of them for three bucks, number 947. This is a product here, number 948, is a product that is made to, it's called Sock Assist. And what it is, is it's made to be to assist somebody that might be having some trouble putting on their own socks. So maybe somebody that can't reach down that low or uh, is just struggling with that. Anyways, what it is, is you put the sock over this, uh, hard, uh, this hard form here and then you pull it on like that. You put your, you're able to wiggle your toe right through here and then you pull it on with this almost jump rope like... Um, tools here. So it's a way to make somebody still keep their independence even though they might be struggling with some of these activities. Or maybe you've just had surgery or something like that. You know, maybe it's maybe it's something like that. That you've just had surgery and just can't get there. You, you know? This is going to be number 948. It's going to be $3. 948. What is this? Oh, this is a whole bunch of pirate coins. <laughs> If you need a whole bunch of pirate coins, and there's a ton here, a huge big bag of pirate coins here. 
need a whole bunch of pirate coins, then it's going to be number 949. You can use them for a birthday party, or you can go bury them in the backyard and then sell your house <laughs> and leave some directions. And play the long game, you know? Play the long game. Go for the long laugh. That one's going to be 949. I just, I didn't even, just the other day when I was in the shower, I come out of the shower, I wrote on the, the mirror was all fogged up and I wrote, you know, I'm watching you and with my finger on there and then I slammed my, my finger on it and kind of dragged it on the mirror there. But I don't know if he's even noticed, the child's even noticed if he's paid any attention or not to that, but I just like to give him a little scare every once in a while, you know. <laughs> Next thing is we got a little bit of poop, a little bit of earbuds poops here little earbud guy here he hooks onto your book bag or wherever you want him to hook on to and then you put your earbuds and whatnot inside of there okay that's how that works this one's going to be item number 950 950 he's super uh silicone too 950 <laughs> i was gonna say he feels cool to, to to touch and then i'm thinking what am i talking about he's ew, he's poopy 950 9.50 for that one. What is this one? Oh, this is a little vintage item here. We're gonna jump out of here. I used all my nines up here. So, well, we're maybe not. We're gonna go over here. What was that, 9.50? Okay, we can go here to 9.87. This is a, a vintage stone piece here too. This is a little single bud vase. See how pretty the stone is polished here? Probably marble or whatever. Maybe some granite or I don't know exactly what. It feels like marble. It has a nice weight to it here. Okay. Little bud vase, single bud vase. Really pretty, really smooth and soft there. It's going to be number 987. 987. And then we have 988. What is going to be number 988? This is a set of coasters. Um, okay, so I just looked up these coasters, and they sell for $12.99. They are like a rubber silicone, no slip coaster. I didn't really understand what the logo on it, what the logo on it meant, but I don't think it. It's it's just a brand, I guess. It's called Ozaland. Ozaland Be Unique is what it says on it here. Okay, I was unfamiliar with that, but it's just a little silicone, rubberized coaster here. Okay, with a little lip on it here, and you get a set of eight of them, and this is going to be number 988, 988, eight coasters. Then we have this. These are the skins for the uh, game controller. Let me see. Let me make sure I know what I'm talking about here before I tell you. Where'd my magnifying glass go? Where'd my magnifying glass go? Oh, no. What does it say? It says, uh, no sugar. I can't read it right this second. I can't read it right this second. Give me, give me a break on that one for a minute. We're going to have to skip that one right now because I just can't see where my magnifying glass is. Okay, so this are party decorations here. These are little gift box party decorations. These are cute. They make little, um, you see the little pictures for the, for a smaller kid, little animal birthday party theme here. And you open them up, and you, oh look, and it, it even pops out too. I didn't even see that. Those are like little, the, that little pop-off thing. They make like little popcorn buckets almost. They're a little party favor thing here. Getting a whole, whole bunch in this bag. It looks like there's probably 25, if not more. Okay, this is gonna be $3. This one's gonna be item number 989, 989. Still with me? 990, we're on 990. 990 is this very pretty candle, which would actually look really pretty on that little candle holder that we had before. Nice little round candle. It's kind of like peachy, not peachy, maybe just like uh, sand. I guess I would call that mostly sand color here. It's from a company here called Signature Home Styles. Signature Home Styles candle. That's what it looks like. Hmm does kind of have a scent to the box here. Let's see. It's going to be item number 990. 990. And then we have these. These are the hideaway hangers here. So you bolt this onto your wall. You see? You see that? You put your screw up, your nail up on the wall. I've used a screw. There's two of them there. You put your screw up on the wall like that. 
So it's hanging on the wall. And then when you want to use it, you open it up and it creates a hanging rack here. Say you're ironing, okay? And then you can hang your clothes right here. And then when you're taking your clothes away, you just close it right back up and it stays nice and sleek against the wall and it doesn't take up any space, more space than about an inch from your wall. But when again, when you open it up, you now have that much room to be able to hang multiple things on. So I have two of these here. They're both the exact same color, which is a very light cream color. Three out of sticks. Let's see. So this one's going to be $9.91, and then another one is going to be $9.92. $9.91, $9.92. $9.91, This is This is a set of two toddler pillowcases, two Easy Care toddler pillowcases. Oh, they're just in a pretty little, a little gray color here. Okay. Two toddler pillowcases here. Let's see how big they are. Of course, you'll never get them fitted in there the way they were before. They're about that size there. Okay. It's a slightly smaller than a uh, standard, standard size of pillow there. These two po toddler pillowcases, they are going to be number 993. 993 put you in here and we got 994 994 this is a unique little handmade artisan item apparently there is a place in Texas that makes these because the whole town is called this the whole town is called the round top collection it's, the town is called round top Te Texas and it's just this little spring you see it's like a glitter this is all metal and it's on a spring too, these little metal flowers here. And best I can figure from looking at their website here is that this is something that you would just use like as decor on the back of a uh, broomstick or a shovel or a, you know one of your outdoor tools or whatever. It just brightens the place up a little bit there. Anyways, that's their little brand and this is their little brand from their little town in Texas here. And this is gonna be item number 994. Item 994, cool little thing there, little rose. Little rose, we have a couple little roses on our show. Little rose. Okay, so this is, um, this says, remove hair and wrap rapidly and pain free. So this is, I think this is a battery, this is an eyebrow battery, um, let's see what it say, precision tip LED light ergonomic design. Okay, so it looks like it is a little eyebrow hair remover, hair shaper item here, okay? Shape perfect eyebrows. Shape perfect eyebrows. It's going to be item number 995, electric eyebrow hair remover with razor with LED light, 995. 995 is the number, 995. Okay. What is this? Oh, oh, we had one of these the other day. Do I have to? I don't think I have to do it again, do I? I think you remember, right? It's this, this one is the gold-colored one. You pull the pin like a grenade, and then all heck breaks loose. <laughs> it's loud and obnoxious. It's a little safety device for when you are walking alone. Uh, it's on your key ring here. And you, like I said, you pull the pin, and the pin's not loose. You have to give it a little tug, you know, so it's not going to come loose in your purse or anything like that. But you pull the pin, and then it just has this blaring, blaring siren noise. So it's very obnoxious, and your person will be terrified of the noise and run away. I would run away because it's very annoying. <laughs> It's 996. It's item number 996. Here's nine. What is this one? What is this one? This is 997. This is a pretty one. This is a very pretty one. This is a pretty little hair comb here. Look at that. Can you see that? That's all rhinestones there. I don't know if you can see it if I'm giving. Sometimes it doesn't pick up. Uh, there, that might be the best look. Do you see them all glittering in the light there? Pretty little rhinestone hair comb. Pretty little rhinestone hair comb. That's how big it would be if it were in my hair. Okay. This one's going to be item number 997. New item 997. 
Three dollars. Just three dollars, just three dollars. And then what is this? This is not a new item. This is a vintage item. This is a vintage spoon. This is a vintage South Carolina spoon. Never taken out of its package. Let's see. Oh, I'm not going to finish taking it out. We'll leave it just like that. A little vintage South Carolina spoon. Whoop! <laughs> there it goes. Come back here, little spoon. Come back here. So it has a, a peach. It has a South Carolina peach up in the center there. A collector's spoon. Pretty little scalloped edge there. Okay. It is an oldie here. You can read about it there on the back. It's going to be number 998. 998. Did anybody watch uh, Breaking Bad where Marie goes into the house that she sees the spoon collection up on the wall and she has a problem stealing things? And sure enough, she walks out and she has stolen just one spoon from that spoon collection. Just to, just to irritate, you know. Moppy, I mean, she can't help it. She has a problem. But anyway. <laughs> now defending a fictional character on this show. It's going to be 999, 999. I can't adult today. I can't adult today. 999. A little drinking mug. Can't adult today. What is that little mark over there? There you go. 999. I can't adult today. Let's see. We're getting towards the end of my big baskets here. So these, I have two packages of these. I thought I would show them together here. So what these actually are here are um, drinking charms for your glasses here. But, I mean, I don't know. They are, they're really pretty and they are made they're really made nice with a, a, they have these glass beads in them here. I was thinking I could see somebody actually pulling that off as a piece of jewelry. They're really pretty. But they're coming out different colors, of course, because they are made to be drink charms here. Okay. So each little pouch has one, two, three, six in them. And they all have different colored gems. Hold on, let me see that one. Can I see that one? Hmm. Pretty interesting. So they're both, oh, these are, they have, they have five different ones with gems and then they have extra pieces if you need extra pieces from what it says. Spare parts. That's what it says, spare parts. <laughs> In case you need a spare parts for one of your gems here. But $3 a, a, a box here for them. So we have number 1,000 and number one, uh, and number, let's take it all the way back here. Let's take it to 1,000. Actually, you know what? Let's take it to 1,000. Let's do both of them for, for uh, the number 1,000. And we're going to end it at 1,000. That way I get to end my stickers <laughs> on a number I like to end it on. We only had a couple more items anyways, and I can always get to those on our next show, which, of course, the next show is going to be on Monday at 11 o'clock. And uh, those are always fun shows as well, the morning. get Shake it up a little bit, a little in the evening, a little in the morning there. Huh? What are you smiling about there? Everybody doing Okay. I hope you guys are. I hope you guys are good with it. So, um, I think that's going to be all for right now. So, I'm going to have you guys go all enjoy the rest of your Friday night. Put your feet up for a little bit. Enjoy the, the rest of the evening here. Look, my puppy dog knows. He says, I know. I know we're done. He says, I know we're done. And I get to have you back, Mama. I get to have you back. He's <laughs> so demanding. So demanding. <laughs> yes. Okay, have a good night, Amy. I'll see you. Okay, off, please. Off, off. Bye, everybody. Have a great night. Thanks for joining me. Talk to y'all later.